Oh, uh, down smash. Not able to get the wedge guard. Oh! Whoa, whoa. All right, welcome everyone to the 81st uh, edition of Lag Spike tonight. We start off our very first set of the day with Anality and Run. So, uh, Anality, uh, big player, I'm sure everyone knows him. He plays as well, uh, continuous events online. I'm fairly sure he also has the biggest win rate online. Might be wrong. Uh, and then Ran, uh, another player from South America, Chile. He mains Young Link. And just like Anality, has fairly uh, solid results across the board. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a pretty decent match, like round one. You mentioned uh, off stream that these two haven't really played that much. So it'll be interesting trying to watch them kind of figure each other out. Yep. Yeah, the, uh, these two don't really ever play, I'll be real. Uh, for given how much, uh, similar, how many similar tournaments they do enter, it is a bit surprising that they haven't really played yet. But Ran going with Hero tonight, very interesting pick. Oh yeah, so just uh, Anality's online win rate is uh, 85%, in case you were wondering. That is yeah. really high. I think it's like the second best probably behind like Jazar. Um, alright. But yeah, so Anality's starting off with Ken here. Uh, Ken Hero being honestly an even matchup. Hadouken doing a very good job at shutting down the menu. Yeah, you can see that right now already and um obviously it's going to change with bounce as a lot of hero matchups will you kind of like get bounce and your opponent can't harass yeah. you as much but uh, what's also interesting is the hadouken seems to be like clanking with if oh projectiles, yeah like kaboom that kind of thing it will clank That's with the... kaboom it will clank with bang and it will clank with the uh scissor tree as well uh but again also the fact that ken blows you up off a single interaction and things like jumping into him with accelerator is never gonna work I guess that makes this matchup kind of hard because it's it's hard to camp because you've got like and we can see uh, LQ kind of go onto these platforms now. Ran just kind of sit on the platforms and camp there because yes. they know that if they're level with Anality, Anality can just throw the Hadouken. Um, but it's kind of difficult to run because you can't really camp. But if you try and jump in, you're like in against Ryu uh, in this matchup, which doesn't feel that great either. Oh, the Beautiful parries though. And the focus attacks as well. And Anality is just. I mean, Anality is the favorite here, and we're starting to see why. Yeah, absolutely. But a strong back air there is going to pull uh, Ran slowly back into it. Hero also being character like a swap. But yes. Ken's Disgusting. shield strings. Ken's shield strings. Absolutely dangerous. Can't be holding shield. You do have to either drop your shield or spot dodge. Right before the final kick. Yeah, the classic shield setup, knew, knowing that uh, Ran was scared enough to keep holding it and just going for it, securing the kill uh, nice and quick and nice and early as well, and already lapping uh, the percent. Yep. This is gonna. Yeah, it's a really strong start for Anality so far. Ran's just gotta look for something, but you never know, one crit's all it takes, right? Yep, and well. With Hero's damage output, this is a very easy gap to make up. And look at that good grab. But an RTSDing Ooh. off the down throw. Ran right back into it off that SD. Yeah, we were getting ready his for buffs. Movement. Getting his buffs and getting ready to get right back into it. The only issue I really have with Ran's game plan going into this matchup is just. He's getting far too aggressive to zap and zap. Or... Uh, zap and zap all, sure, zaps and neutral tools are great for spacing. But if you're jumping at someone with it, you're never going to be able to space it properly. But we do see here the Nair Strings into forward air, getting him off stage and racking up about 40%. Yeah, 
yeah, uh, looking good so far. The comeback is definitely on. We're starting to see a much better placement of these sortie uh, style aerials. And yep. now that you're just struggling to get in a little bit. Ken really being like very, very stubby character. It, it very is very stubby. easy. Yep. Oh. Just about living, I'm surprised. Yeah, going for the um, ledge trump, but mistiming it slightly. But the downhill confirming into the shore, you're not going to take it. Bit Good too DI. early, getting his zoom. Ooh. Avoiding the shore, you. Nah, tech chase, not going to get anything off of it, though. Ran, backing off into the corner, going for his menu. Bang, accelerado. That's huge, this late on. Need something, doesn't go for bounce. Four, yeah, sizzle four instead. sizzle. Really desperate for this kill. Got all the ability in the world to bait it out. Falling out of the shore, you too. Yeah, good SDI. Maybe it was to do with Accelerator's M ability, but it's a good raw back air from Anali. You'll yep. see that a lot. I'm just calling out these, uh, these full hops that Rand's been doing in the corner. Catching, jump, uh, catching him jumping out of the corner, and that will be a stock. Definitely seemed like it was slipping towards the end for an Anality. I mean, towards... Like, before the last stock, it seemed kind of comfortable almost. But uh, Ran really got back into it at the end. So maybe that adaptation will come into play sort of later in the set. Um, we might see Ran take another... Take a game here and then take this to game three. We shall see, though. All right, back to PS2 again. I don't think they bothered with stage bans, really. Uh, it's a stage they're both happy with, as per usual. All this talk about stage lists and everybody just goes to the same one. Ooh! Uh, no crit. Gets the bounce early. We actually saw that uh, Ran didn't necessarily go for bounce as much towards, like, in the last game, even when it was available. Just kind of hovered over it and, and never really picked it. But uh, yeah. it's time to opt for it immediately just to help deal with the Shoryu harassment. Yeah, seeing him buff up more with spells like Bounce and uh, so on this game really helping him out. But I do see a lack of spells like Oomph. Just Ken being a character you do want to trade with. He will get more off the single hit, but yeah. not even able to get back with... Uh, We've been able to get back up with Kaswoosh, getting the snooze, getting his F smash, but that won't kill. And Anality still alive here, looking to rack up more damage. Uh, not really going to get anything off that interaction though, and here's the bounce. Snooze yeah, whiffing. The... Yep, snooze whiffing, and that will be 60 on the board. Uh, yeah, really great start for Anality already. Um, and... Just like last game, but yeah. yep, Kaboom's win box will drag him in, and that will be a stop. Of course, it's partially just due to how desperate Ran is to get out of these Ken combos, and we know how brutal and how these combos can be. Uh, just not re even really thinking about what happens if you can actually hit or jump, but just try to get out as soon as possible. And good DI, but still dies uh, pretty early. And Anality sitting with a full clean stock lead. Yeah, and as long as he doesn't SD like last time, it shouldn't be that close of a game. But still putting 30% on board here. Super and getting... Yep. Down air, up tilt, not going to get a second down there though. Kaboom, Ran just throwing things out far too early here. Yeah, getting, getting a little too... Desperate. Yep. Getting too desperate to land a spell, but yep, caught asleep with the DI, and that will be a stop gone. And I don't know if that was like a, a, uh, a tap jump or STI thing, because I did see that Ran jumped at some point in there. Um...